Over the last year, I was living in Florence, Italy, which is an incredible city. And I was studying specifically art history, you know, with a little bit of an emphasis in anthropology as well. And I was taking a variety of classes, doing it through the CU study abroad system. I was living with an Italian host family the first semester, and the second semester I was living in a house with nine people from seven different countries. And that was really neat, because common language is Italian, we only spoke Italian to each other. Um, got to know a lot of things about a lot of different places in the world and make these sort of connections and really solidified my ideas about the Renaissance and wanting to write my undergraduate honors thesis on the Renaissance and uh, kind of make that a big part of my life. For Easter they set off a cart of fireworks which <laughs> is really cool. It's right in front of the Duomo and it's got like this chain around the bottom that goes off and then it like works its way up this huge wooden structure. Probably the best highlight of my Rome experiences was our school got to have a private trip to the Sistine Chapel. So we had 50 people from our school sign up and it was two hours, just us in the Sistine Chapel, which normally is packed, probably 500 people. And you really learn a lot about yourself and a lot about how to catch planes on time, a lot about what's healthy to eat and cheap, and a lot about how to be more open and social. The world is so gigantic and there's so many things to see that when you're young, you can see all those, draw different bits and pieces from other cultures, from other worlds, other religions, other people, genders, you know, ideas, and really synthesize them and make yourself into a more worldly rounded person. And I think that the best time to study abroad is your junior year um, or the beginning of your senior year because you can come back and bring those experiences into the rest of your education and kind of apply them to your future.